I'm here with James from Zone 3. I was just on my way past, didn't plan to talk to him today, but uh, we started chatting about a few things. And Zone 3 is actually your little baby, isn't it? It is really, yeah, yeah. From the very conception through to where we got today, yeah. Right, so this is our third year, third year at the triathlon show? Third year at the Tri Show, launched in 2009. So, yeah, it's, yeah, really much fast kind of progress, but it's a bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, that's what I was saying, <laughs> I was sort of saying to James just a moment ago before we turned the camera on, it was. You know, I was trying to explain how personal trainers and group exercise instructors would love to one day set up their own brand. And with many of them going to triathlon now, you know, don't have to do a t-shirt brand anymore. Why don't you set up something like a, a wetsuit brand or, you know, a, some sort of triathlon related brand instead? And that's what you did, right? Well, yeah, I had all my passion in the sport. I've been running small businesses since I was kind of 14 or 15. Uh, and then I went to Loughborough University, was in the high performance squad as a triathlete and kind of just saw quite a big gap. You know, I, I knew the market well. I had all the facilities around me, all the athletes. I could swim in the products and I could tell how they could be improved. So that's why I said I kind of took it all down to the, uh, the ground level, built it up from scratch. It took a couple of years of development, but yeah, after that we've, we've seen you know, huge growth the last few years. So what does it take to go from, you know, I've got, a, I've got an idea for a, a clothing brand to actually taking it from concept through to putting it on the shelves? Well, we didn't really kind of, didn't really have a massive business plan when I started. It was very much, um, let's get some products out, let's try and just fund my, because I was racing as a professional triathlete, so I just wanted to make a bit of income, so I could just cover my costs while I was racing overseas. And then all of a sudden the product got reviewed by some magazines and they all loved it. Uh, and I was like, okay, well maybe there's more to this than I expected. Uh, so I went from just a small little business, just an idea, just to see how, I, how it was going to go, just tick me over. And now we're the number one brand in the UK. We've got more distributors around the UK than probably any other brand. Expanding overseas, we've got an office opening in the US, Scandinavia, Germany. So it's, yeah, it's kind of snowballed, but it's taken a lot of work to get there. <laughs> Some would actually probably say that, you know, in a show like this, when you see loads of wetsuit designers everywhere, and usually it was quite an, a, a, quite a gap in the market. Um, what, yeah. What sort of gap did you see? Because to me, I would say, well, everyone's got wetsuits. Well, it's, it's grown very quickly, the sport. But, you know, when I was there, it was, uh, only a couple of brands, uh, all both you know from the Southern Hemisphere, so they're very expensive. Didn't feel the fit was that great for me as an athlete. So uh, I just thought, you know, it's a great opportunity here to bring in a product in which maybe fits the athlete better, uh, which is a British company and it's got a you know more reasonable price tag to it. So in terms of training, you're still training at the moment to do. I get as much as I can in, but yeah, this year has been tough. Uh, I was obviously world champion at amateur level in a quathlon and then started racing elite for five years, and with that, you're kind of training 20 hours plus a week. Would you ever do any classes like in gyms, any cycle classes for example in gyms or do you do mostly your road Mostly work? on the road but yeah when the weather's bad, yeah, I'll get, get down the gyms where I can, do the turbo sessions in there. Okay. Yeah you can work as hard as you want so. So you actually take your bike down to the... And Either take the my bike down and sell it up or yeah use the, the fixed bikes. Okay. So yeah. have you done any of the fixed bike classes like RPM, spinning Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cycle? I've done a few of them every oh, now yeah. and again. Yeah, when well, there's like heavy snow outside and stuff. Yeah. You say you can work as hard or as easy as you want on them. So if you crank up the resistance and go, you know, put an hour, hour and a half into that, you're pretty so, spent. So as a triathlete, they're effectively a good training session. Not just a gym class, it's training them for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. as a normal session. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously you, that's where you get all your core strength and stability from the gym. Yeah. I think a lot of people who, a lot of participants who go to the gym see it as a gym class and it's quite separate from things like, uh, you know, triathlon and actually riding. They see them as two different things. Fair yeah. enough, if you're on a stationary bike or you're on the road. Well, but effectively, you apply the same principles, right? Well, absolutely. You're still working your, your, the right muscles and the right CPU systems. And if anything, obviously, you can push yourself much harder on a fixed bike than you could out on the road. Yeah. You just put your head down and bury yourself into it, whereas... On a road, if you do that, there uh, could be some collision. What about heart rate monitoring? Do you do a lot of that when you're training? I don't use much of that. I'm more no. listening to my body. Yeah, I was okay. quite a natural kind of athlete, really. And that comes to recovery as well? Do you kind of listen to your body, how it feels? Exactly, what I eat. Yeah. I, I try to stick away from nutritional brands and products as well. Just eat healthily, you know, drink lots of plain water, and that kept me in good shape. Yeah. 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 Okay. So during a session, would you just you, you just have regular water in your no electrolytes or anything no. like that? No, no. just suck it up. Yeah, yeah. Caveman yeah. instinct to Absolutely, it all. Absolutely, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's James from uh, Zone Three. If you want to find out more about their products or more about their business, check out the website. Uh, thanks, James. Thank you very much.